Jays Extra. Welcome back to the Angors Extra pregame show. I'm Andrew Sellover, and we have assistant coach Jay Vincent for catch of the day. Jay, what brought you to Chatham in the first place? Skip did, um, kind of like everybody else. Sheets is the man um, that pulls the strings, and, and he was the reason I'm here. When did you first meet Sheets? Um, I was a sophomore in college, and Sheets spoke at our Mid-South Conference Tournament banquet. Um, actually called me out in front of everybody um, after the banquet was over and kind of left me wondering how he knew me. Um, but both of us are Kentucky guys, um, so there was a connection right away. What did he call you out for? He just told me to stay behind um, in front of every team that was there. He just said, hey, I need to see this guy. And I had no idea what it was about. He was just introducing himself, um, letting him know that he knew me, knew my hometown and, and things like that. What's it been like to work with Sheets on this staff? Uh, it's awesome. Um, learning a lot. You know, taking a step back from being a head assistant and, you know, just sitting back and learning, um, watching these guys and how they operate on a daily basis and also how our other coaches go about things and, you know, the communication they have. Um, the words they use um, is huge, and but it's great. He's, he's awesome to work with. Um, the energy every day is the, the biggest thing. I mean, you, you look forward to coming to the park every day. You mentioned being the head assistant at Lindsey Wilson College. What got you there? Uh, my, my head coach, um, shout out Ethan Utley. Um, he actually coached me for two years at the University of Pikeville when I was a sophomore and a junior. Um, got me a job as a GA um, at Lindsey and then brought me back I guess it'll be, I'll be going on year three with him, um, but he has become one of my best friends. Um, can't speak highly enough about that guy, and he's the main reason. When you were at Pikeville, you played some summer ball yourself. What do you remember about those summers? Um, the relationships. Um, I still talk to, especially the guys I play with in California. Um, I talk to those guys still to this day. Um, some of the best friends I've ever made. Um, just going through a full summer of a grind with those guys. I think back, I think in the California league that I played in, we played 50 or so games. Um, it was every day. You were traveling four hours. Um, we even traveled up to Oregon for weekends. It was a lot, but um, it brought us close and we had a lot of good memories together. What have you seen change about the summer ball world of college baseball since you played in it? Oh, uh, Lord. Well, this, this league's different than any other league. Um, there's more moving and shaking, obviously, in the Cape than most. Um, but I think the biggest thing is you, you didn't – I didn't know how relationships would be built here because there are guys coming in and out. I mean, you know, we lost four guys last week, but new guys have come in, and it's, it's just like we aren't skipping a beat. Um, that's the biggest thing is I, I didn't know – I don't really know if there's a much different – um, but I was interested to see how that would look out here. Um, and the guys click, you know, you can tell down in that bullpen, they, they call themselves the dog pound for a reason. Um, those guys are super tight and I know those guys will be friends for life. Had you been up to Cape, up to the Cape before the summer? No, um, I'd been to New York city twice on vacation. Um, but no, this was the first time. What's your reaction to it? It's different. Um, biggest thing is people kind of think it's hot right now. Um, it's not, but it's, it's super nice, um, super nice. The weather is unbelievable, um, and the baseball's fantastic. What made you want to get into coaching? That's a tough one. Well, I was done playing. That was the first thing, and I didn't want to work a nine-to-five job. Um, and in coaching, you do work a lot more than just nine-to-five, but um, the relationships with the guys. I had a lot of coaches throughout my career that impacted me in a really good way. Um, and if I can be half of that for some of these guys or guys back home, that's what it's all about for me is the building a relationship. And, you know, not every guy gets to play professional baseball, but I just hope I can help them be a better person, um, hopefully a better husband, a better employee, whatever they decide to do. That, that's my whole goal. Um, wins and losses, they come and go, but how you treat people is what you remember. What do you see as the end goal in your coaching career? Where do you want to get to? I don't know. I mean, obviously, I want to be a head coach one day. Um, 
I love the NAIA. Um, I, I just think you got to find the right fit, um, somewhere you can be successful, somewhere your family can be happy. Um, I really don't know. Uh, I'm just kind of going with the wind right now, um, a.k.a. why I'm in Chatham. Um, it kind of happened within a week of how I got the job and um, just kind of rolling with it. If something comes up and it's the right fit, we'll talk. But I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. Um, I love the people at Lindsey Wilson. Um, they are, they've treated me fantastic, so I have no complaints right now. Well, Jay, enjoy the rest of your summer in Chatham. Thanks Appreciate for the time. It. Appreciate you.